There we go. Back out of Kauai High. Time is uh, time is it? 5:30. Sun's just coming up over the mountain right now. Kohala in the back there, and uh, I've got uh, maybe five akule in the tube. And since it's so early, the bait don't show up till later anyway. We're gonna head out uh, a little bit deeper, try catch some of that super early morning bite, and then we'll come back and look for opelu when the sun's a little more up. All right, here we are at kind of the first little ledge, 150. I'm gonna get one of those smaller akule on here. See if we can catch a first light ono. That'd be sick. Or anything really, anything that's not a barracuda or a shark. Be kind of happy with. Yeah. So let me show you this bait real quick. That's a akule or goggle eye. Caught him in the dark. It's a huge school on the way out. Oh, they spike you. He got me in the hand good there. Oh, they do have really mean spines compared to Opelu. But they are a pretty good bait. And super lively. All right. Send them out. Oh, something kind of weird. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lion. It's been following me for a while now. It's like 10 feet down. It's been under me for quite some time. <laughs> I wonder if that's a shark following me around. There's a good chance that's just a shark following me. There's a nice bait school there. Come on. Oh, you guys see any over there? Yeah, that's cool. Yep, there we go. Back on him. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bill. Line, bro. It's yep, I know. There we go. They are biting. This one's bleeding. Oh, on your Opelu line? Or your Okalu line? Oh, no, no, like. Yeah. Oh, you body snagged them. Yeah. I see. Oh. All right, well, I got. I think. Four Opelu in the tube and one Akule. I got one Akule out on the line. Had him out this whole time. So I think I've got enough bait to make something happen here. Just need the fish to cooperate. Gonna head out deeper and see what we can see. Alright, pretty excited to use this brand new toy here. It's an Avid um, MXL Raptor. Two speed, lever drag. So I've got uh, like about 500 yards of 50 pound and then another like 80 feet of 40 pound floor on top of that. So this is going to be my new reel. Um, figured I'd go with the conventional so I can get a little bit better deep drop game. This one's got the low gear so I can crank up that lead easier. But I'll put my long bait out on just a straight floral. See if we can pull a shibi or something. Alright, this one's gonna be an Opelu on the long one. Long beat. Get a nice one out there. So we got him right through the nose with the circle hook. 
and they stay alive a long time like this. Right there. And let them out far. This one's gonna go maybe about... Whoa, he's really going, damn. This one will go about 200 feet back. His own pelvis is going insane. There we go. I right, came over a random school of a pelu here. In like 350 feet of water. There we go. Alright. Restock the bait tube a little here. Some slightly bigger baits. Shucks. Oh, there we go. On, I think. I think I'm on. I think so. Yep. I'm on. Yeah. It's on the floral. Garden shades on. I don't know if this fish knows it's hooked yet. I don't think this fish knows it's hooked. Yeah, I have my. I'm trying to get my uh, wire rig back up. And my dumb machine. <laughs> I know it's pretty gnarly when you have everything out. I picked up two more baits. He's, the school is biting. Yeah, a little shibi. Yellowfin tuna, he's still got some juice in him, but he's coming. Nice shibi. Yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, he's still got some fight in him. Shibi. <laughs> yep. Mouth. It's my wife's favorite fish.
There we go. There we go. That's the good shot we wanted. Right there. Very nice. Blessed it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happened. Not a bad track record. No. One for one so far. Okay, let's try to get this other bait in the water so he doesn't die. Yeah, hopefully not a shark. Get this bait back out there. He's been sitting in my in my leg well for a while. Yeah, well, the whole time I was fighting the fish. Uh, you're next. <laughs> oh, the high teens, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I think so, high teens, low 20s. There we go, right there. Chibi, ba. Yes, sir. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Always bleeding. Bleeding everywhere. Okay, yeah, me too. Alright, fish in the bag. Morning, I am here at Koi High. Yet again. Could have gone Hilo, I think, but it was more guaranteed to be nice out here. So I just made the drive. These marks, holy crap. Just look at that, that is a healthy amount of fish above. That's an Opelo school right there. And then all the lines are predators probably picking on them. All right, bait did not cooperate. So plan B, head out deep, put some bait on the bottom. All right, I'm all set up. Looks like we're doing a slow drift out over the ledge. It's perfect. So try one pound lead first, see if this touches the bottom. If not, I got a two pounder. Bombs away in 560 so i'll just get up get that slack out the line drop it back down then we're gonna free spool it and just feel for the bite Yeah, that's my bait. Oh, I'm on something. All right. On something. Pop this into low gear. Definitely a fish. Certainly not a big one. Back on my leader, so that means whatever it is, is right there. Oh, yes! Oh, oh chunky again, die. Oh, nice, this is killer. Yes, uh, that's the one right there. Jumped right there too. Whoo! Can die. Yeah. That's the one right there. Yeah, that's the gindai right there. 
<laughs> super good eating. Super stoked. Uh, this reel's killer. Super easy to crank that gindai up to like uh, 580 feet. Plus the one pound lead. That's on. Oh, on a big fish. Oh, I'm a... Oh, that's a sizable fish. Whatever we got here. Got some low gear. This might be a Kahala. All right. Well, it's a proper fish for sure. Just a cranking game now. <laughs> wow, this little gear is awesome. Whoa! All right, it's right there. It's probably a Kahala. But we'll see. Maybe it's a proper bottom fish. That looks like a Kahala. Do you want this Kahala? How you going? Yeah, like a, maybe like a 12 to 15 pounder. Okay, shoots. Oh, wow. Looks like I had another fish on the bottom hook. Look at that. Busted off though or something. Oh! What was that? There was a... Something around me right now. I saw a swirl right there. Huh. Okay. Well... It's the Elmaco Jack. Be free! Sending it back down, the Kahala stole my lead. So I had to rig up a new rig that had a swivel on it. And this is my last lead, so I'm gonna really try to keep it. So I, want, I definitely wanna keep fishing. All right. Well, I'm getting bit. Bottom in 640. There we go. Yep, on. Logan, just crank it up. Let's see if I actually have a fish on or not. <clears throat> I was definitely getting bit like crazy. But this two pound lead is so damn heavy, I can't tell if I have a fish or not. Oh, I do. Hey. Haha. <laughs> Oh, another Gindai. Sweet deal. Another Gindai. This one's all super bloated. The stomach's coming out. A little smaller, but still a good eating size. Yeah. These things are delicious. So I am, I am not uh, disappointed with that. Away we go. Okay, I think I, I think I got him that time. 
Yeah. It's gonna go easy, easy, so I don't pull the hook, hopefully. Jamahi following this buoy thing. I think it's a fish. Oh my god, it's a freaking huge. It's the biggest one of these eels I've ever caught. Ugh. That's. <laughs> Mahi's over here, fish. Okay, let's try to do this without getting bit. Okay. That's, get, that's getting there. There we go. Back on the bottom. Just got a bite. That's a fish, I think, or an eel. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Fuck us swimming back towards me. It's within like 60 feet. Gotta keep constant tension. I lost a couple of fish already just flooding around at the edge of the kayak. Oh. Oh, it's another gin. Oh, it's a big hindi. Whoa, chunky. That one came off too. God, funny. Whoo, that's enough gindai. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yikes! This might be the Fish biggest. That's what the mahis do. Oh, that's a fat yindai. Holy crap. Look at that guy. Huh. Oh man. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Whoa, big fish, big fish. Oh, big fish. Very big fish, probably a Kahala. If this isn't a Kahala, it's a good fish. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm totally expecting to see a Kahala here. I don't know what else this could be. It's such a drag. Still fighting. Right under the kayak, yep. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anybody want a Kahala? Oh, this is a decent sized Kahala. For no thank you. Oh. Jeez, man. There we go. Okay, well he's still pretty healthy, so I'll get him back in the water quick. There you go. Yeah, I got some interest. Couple Inquisitive bites there. Oh. Okay.
Okay, I think I have a fish on. Yeah, I think so. Whatever it is, it is coming up. That's close. So, almost got it here. What are we dealing with? Oh, it's a part of a gindai. Oh no. Hey, I caught a half a gindai. Oh shoot. It's better than losing two mahis. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You anybody want this half again die? <laughs> yeah, I take him. Shoots, I go throw him in my bag then. Oh. Check this out. This came out of my uh my Gindai's stomach. It's a deep sea mantis shrimp. Super cool. <laughs> Very neat. Okay, bites again. Oh, we're on a big one. <laughs> Gotta be a Kahala again. I think. Hey Shay, we found me. Wow. That's a... That's a good sized fish. He's done running. Uh, I don't know, it looks like a kahala to me. Yep. Yeah. 